Welcome back to How to Begin Bow Hunting, episode four. Today I'm showing you how to shoot this and sight in your bow, all that right after this. First, I would definitely take a marker and mark your target. We'll do that here in a second with a black dot, like some kind of big black dot so that you can see that dot and it's just way easier to sight in your bow if you're visually staring at a circle or something that's darker. You know, when you're aiming at a deer, you don't have that. So to try to sight in your bow on a target that doesn't have a specific aiming point, it's not that efficient. So beginners, if you're new, mark your target with something circular, dark. So when you're aiming at it through that sight, you can see that dark spot. Make you much more consistent. It'll help you really see where your arrows are going and uh, it's definitely a great tip. So go mark your target. So I'm gonna blacken up do something like that. I'm just trying to make a point that these circles would work too if you have a bag. You need something circular. See your pins are circular. You need something circular to hold that pin in the center of so that you know you're holding in the same spot consistently. Here's what happens when you're sighting in a bow. If you don't have a consistent aiming point, you'll never get that bow sighted in properly because you're always aiming slightly in a different spot. Like let's say you were aiming at this deer for example. You think you're aiming right here in the vitals every time, but by the time you get back to 40 yards, you really don't know exactly where you're aiming. It's a challenge. So black circle for a beginner is the best. Stick that pin, whatever pin you're using, right in the center of that dark circle and use that to sight in your bow. Now, assuming this is on your bow, you start shooting. Aim at that circle. If you're not dead on at that circle at 10 yards, then you need to adjust that sight, okay? Now you wanna to try to sight in the rest of the pins, but we wanna make sure that you're really working on your form first, just with a couple pins. So we're going to drop these pins out of the way, these extra pins. So we're gonna turn those Allen bolts, and get all these out of the way. I'm trying to do this so you can see, but it's kind of challenging. So this is my recommendation as a beginner, get all these other pins out of the way, maybe leave like one or two at the top, okay? So these are your main two pins that you're gonna focus on. This pin is roughly on target from the pro shop. This one is not quite on target yet. So we're gonna talk about how to do that. Make sure you start very close, get that first pin on at 10 yards, 15 yards, whatever you prefer, and then you can slide back. If that pin is left or right, you first want to adjust the left and right with the sight. Okay, so we're shooting left, we're moving this dial. Not all these fixed sights have dials like this. I do like this sight, um, but I turned this dial and moved this left. If you're shooting right, you want this to go right, okay? So I'm turning this down it's sliding that right. So that would be our horizontal adjustment. You need to set up your horizontal adjustment first, in my opinion, because likely when you leave the pro shop, you're gonna at least be on, relatively on the target at 10 or 15 yards. Once they set up your sight at the pro shop, you're pretty damn close to being on target. So now that that's done, we wanna use our vertical adjustment to adjust up and down. So we're gonna use our vertical adjustment, which is bringing this up because our arrow was high and we adjust that up. Now we adjusted it a little bit. Okay, we're gonna go shoot. All right, we're dead on up and down, dead on left and right. And that would be good for the first pin. Once you get the first pin dead on left and right and up and down, then it's time to adjust in the individual pins by themselves. A lot of guys will use 10 yard increments. So you have 15, 25, 35, 45, 55 is what you can adjust in. Right now, we only have two pins active. Your goal is to group arrows. You're never gonna have one arrow that's completely on the money all the time. You wanna see the average of those four arrows. So before you move pins, always shoot at least four arrows, okay? Well, then you're gonna take your Allen wrench and you're gonna ease back there and start shooting. If you see that you're slightly high, then 
you want to move this pin up a little bit. Okay, same thing as before. If you're high, you move these pins up. If you're low, you move these pins down. Now, you've got this pin set, you shot a few arrows, it's good for 25. Now, you can fill in later on with these other pins. All right, we're gonna jump down here to this third pin. So we've got a 15 and a 25. Now what you're gonna do is just try to line that up. Line that third pin up with the same space. And I'm not saying that that's gonna be 100% accurate all the time, but this is gonna put you in the, the range of that third distance. So obviously, the further out you go, the further the arrow has to go. So you might have a larger gap in those pins, but this right here is the easiest way to get your pins close. Try to bridge that gap at an equal distance, okay? It's probably best that you're shooting at the pro shop and talking to people to try to sight in all your pins. But just remember, if you're shooting left, move that sight left. If you're shooting high, move that whole sight up for the first pin. And then once you're dead on at 15, 20 yards, 10, 15, 20 yards, shorter distances, then you're not gonna touch this horizontal or vertical adjustment anymore on the main sight. You're only gonna sight in those pins. So remember that. Just shoot a lot of arrows. The more arrows you shoot, the more you find that consistency. And that brings us into consistency overall with our shooting form. Before we even get into adjusting the sight too much, you're gonna to wanna to shoot from shorter distances and work on that form. So before we start shooting, I want you to remember, you need your field point, not your broadhead. When you're shooting a lot of arrows, you wanna shoot with these field points these broadheads are for hunting, so don't mix those up. If you're a beginner, make sure you're shooting field points. There will be a time where you want to shoot these broadheads. These new broadheads, these high-tech broadheads, fly almost identical to these field points, so there's not a whole lot of extra um, shooting or variation in the flight of your arrow. The most important thing in archery is consistency, right? Consistency with the arrows, the flight of the arrow. The way you do that is you need to find a consistent anchor point on your face. The most common way, and if your bow has been set up properly, you probably have something called a kisser button on your bow, on your bow string. So I shoot a kisser button and you put that kisser button right here in the corner of your lip. And then I touch the tip of my nose to the string. There's a lot of different ways to shoot, but I would say this is the most common amongst bow hunters is a kisser button and then touching the string to your nose. Some guys touch the string to the side of their nose. That's maybe not as preferred, but that's okay too. Wherever you can find that consistency, okay? So I'm thinking in mind when I go to draw my bow back, first thing I wanna do is find that anchor point. Find your anchor point. When you draw back, this shouldn't be just pulling with one arm. It should be more of a pull and a push. Like think, uh, think in your head, I'm trying to push this bow, but I'm trying to pull it back too, okay? Some of you intermediate bow hunters out there might laugh at this, but guys, never draw your bow with your finger on this trigger. Um, you'll definitely shoot the arrow way before you mean to, okay? So finger behind here, get settled in, and then ease that finger up. And when you're ready and you've, you've breathed properly and you're calm, and that pin's centered, pull that trigger. So push with your left hand and pull with your right, or the opposite if you're a left-hander. All right, so pull, push, anchor point first. And that draw shouldn't be so heavy that you have to like do one of these things here. Don't, you don't wanna be drawing like this, doing all this crazy stuff. You should, your draw should be light enough that you can essentially just put the bow up and draw right back. All right, then I'm going to my anchor point and I'm touching my nose, the tip of my nose to that string, okay? Now, you always wanna make sure your two feet are facing that target. You never wanna be, you never wanna be shooting a bow like this, okay? Aim those feet at that target, anchor point. I wanna talk about your grip on your front hand that's actually gripping the bow. There's something called torque, meaning if you grip this bow too tight, when you draw back and release that arrow, 
you have a tendency to grip too tight and it'll turn that bow, which in turn will make your arrows go astray. Okay, you don't wanna torque the bow. I'm gonna go ahead and shoot one and show you what I'm talking about. I'm gonna talk you through it. So I'm drawing back and my hand is kind of opened, okay? You wanna watch that top finger. You don't wanna, it's usually not too close to the arrow, but you wanna be careful. So now my hand's kind of loose. All right, I'm gonna breathe and then kind of follow through with that. So you wanna make sure you're breathing, take a couple breaths, calm down, make sure that pin is centered, make sure this front hand is not gripping too tight on the bow, and then once you release that arrow, you wanna let that bow fall forward, essentially follow through with that shot, and continue to aim right where you just shot. Okay, that's, that's the best form, that's the most proper form. We'll shoot a couple more arrows and kind of show you what I'm talking about. Guys, if you have any more questions, leave some comments below. Thanks for watching the video. I'm really trying to help the beginners out here. I'm just thinking to myself, if I didn't have a father that took me hunting, you know, who would I have gone with? Who would have introduced me to what I love so much? Hunting is everything to me. I want to introduce more people to the outdoors. We need to grow the population of hunters out there. We're only 4% of the U.S. population. How do you think that's going to go in the future, guys? Like, we got to get more people out there. we got to share some of our, our spots, some of the love for the outdoors. My man right here behind the camera, Jeff, He's going to come hunting with me soon. We're actually going to start a series on taking new people hunting too. So you want to check that out. If you like this video, please subscribe. If you have any other questions, leave them below. That was fun. Let's do it again soon. <laughs>